This video explains how to set up Walt City Infotech's Easy Main Menu with the dialog system. We start with a project in which we've already imported Easy Main Menu and the dialog system. The first step is to set up the scripting defined symbol Pixel Crushers underscore Save System. You can find scripting defined symbols in the player settings. Next, we need to add scenes to the build settings. Add the main menu scene from main menu new and the loading screen from main menu old. We're also going to add demo scene one from the dialog systems demo. Open demo scene one so that we can copy the dialog manager into the first scene, which is the main menu scene. We don't need the demo menu anymore because we have easy main menu. I'll keep it active though and simply map it to F10 instead of escape. We also no longer need the standard scene transition manager because Easy Main Menu will handle the scene transitions. And delete its scene fader canvas since we no longer need them. Make sure your dialog manager has a save system component and also a dialog system saver. Now select the Level Select Menu Game object. We're going to tie the dialog system demo scene to level 2. Now open the maze scene so that we can grab a copy of Easy Main Menu's gameplay UI. We'll copy the gameplay UI into Demo Scene 1. The gameplay UI has a UI controller component with on pause and on unpause events. We're going to use these events to disable the player's control while the menu is open. In the case of our demo player, that means that we want to deactivate the simple controller the selector, and the follow camera script. When we unpause, we want to re-enable all of those. We might as well also delete the dialog manager since we'll get one from the main menu scene. One thing we're not going to bother setting up in demo scene one is a save trigger game object. Instead, we'll just use the quick save button, which is mapped to F5. But if you wanted to set up a save game trigger, you could set it up similarly to the way it's done in Maze. Back in the main menu, we'll just do one more little thing and clear the demo menu's start message since we don't need to see that again. And now we can play. We change to level two and we can see that it says dialog system demo. And when we play that level, we're transitioned 
into Demo Scene 1. I'll pick up the quest here so that we can verify that saving and loading remembers our quest states. And since the player has a position saver component, I'll move to a position that I can remember and press F5 to save the game. Now, if we play again, we can continue from where we left off. We'll select our quick save. And here we are, back in the saved position, with the quest active. If you press Escape, it opens the gameplay menu. Notice when I press Escape to close the menu, it will re-enable the player's control. You can also see in the gameplay UI that you can load your saved games from here. Since Easy Main Menu is now using the dialog system save system, any saver components that you add to game objects in your scene will be included in those saved games, such as the player's position saver that I mentioned previously. And that's it for integrating Easy Main Menu.